I mean, I'm playing this lunatic in this picture, and he's not, uh, he's not, I suppose he is pretty small, but I'm, he's, he's slightly, I mean, he's much different than Marcus Aurelius that I played in The Gladiator. I wanted to make him different than that, to make him sort of slightly psychotic and slightly eccentric and a bit sort of bonkers. So I made him that. His son, the great soldier, Alexander. <laughs> Cast are smashing. They're wonderful, wonderful actors. I mean, Christopher Walken is wonderful. I mean, he's a he's a wonderful actor. They're all Christopher and uh, Jeremy. They're great. They're great. And the director was super. We got on very well. Lorenzo was hiding himself in Shane. Oh, what a liar! He said. <laughs> no, he can't. I got on very well. As long as you're allowed to do what you're, what you came to do, you know. And. Uh, I saw the part a certain way. I mean, he's written sort of straightforward, and I wanted to make him a bit sort of eccentric and a bit sort of, correct? A bit sort of peculiar, a bit, a bit, a bit odd. So that came off. I'm very pleased with what I've done in this picture. You know, as if we see the horses now, where Brian is, the pigeons should fly. Some Turn to Rome to establish order. He declares that the innocent have no reason to fear. You know, I grew up with movies like that, Ben-Hur and, uh, you know, Spartacus. Um, Gladiator was wonderful last year. Uh, but, in fact, when I grew up in the 50s and 60s, uh, movies about Rome, about ancient times, were quite popular. There were a lot of them. No, I think there's a, a number of things about uh, Julius Caesar that I never knew, uh, things that I didn't learn in school, um, that I haven't seen in other movies, um, things about the way he conducted his campaigns. Uh, he was a pretty rough character, actually. 